Bioshock is a game that is also close to my heart, yet another game that tore me away from the MMO juggernaut that was World of Warcraft. When this game came out in 2007, I was still pushing Endgame in Burning Crusade. Then when I got my new gaming computer, my friend wanted to see if I could run Bioshock. So I went out and bought the game and oh man, I was in for a serious ride. The funny thing is, I used to be absolutely terrible at horror games and this game, it took me ages to complete back then. Purely because I was so scared. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Bioshock Remastered, which was released in September 2016 and was given to PC players for free if they already owned the original on Steam. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sorisin and welcome to my channel and if you're enjoying the video, a sub to the channel would be amazing. In Bioshock, you play a character named Jack that crashes into the ocean while on an airplane. You find a lighthouse in the middle of the ocean and take this small submarine type device underwater. There you find yourself in the city of Rapture, once a beautiful underwater city that was created by Andrew Ryan, a place to go to get away from the discriminations and demands from the governments on land. You find that the city of Rapture has fallen to ruin and the people have gone crazy, crazy from constant abuse of the substance called Adam. You are asked to help someone called Atlas and in turn he will help you too. So what else can you do but take him up on the offer? Honestly, the story of Bioshock is a really great one. And and the snippets of background lore that's littered around in the form of recorded audio devices lets you see what happened to this place and the people in it. One of the things that really sets this game apart back when it first came out was the use of the morality system. There are these orphan girls that create Adam inside their body. You can choose to either sacrifice the girls and take the full amount of Adam for yourself, thus making the game a little bit easier when purchasing Adam upgrades. Or you can save the girls and get less Adam, which will make your power and strength grow at a slower pace. This will also affect how your game's ending will be too. Bioshock is a first person shooter game with also the ability to use special powers. These special powers add a super fun dynamic in the gameplay. You don't have to just go guns blazing to get things done. Instead, you can electric shock them first, stunning them, then rush in with your wrench and bop them on the head a few times, saving you ammo. Or if you see an oil spill on the ground, you could always swap to the fire ability, set the oil on fire and watch the splicers burn to death. Of course, they'll still attack while on fire, so you may have to shoot them a few times anyway. The power I like the most at the moment is the one to turn the big daddies onto your side for a short period of time, and they will fight by your side. This can make taking on enemies a lot easier and also softening up the big daddy so you can have a little bit of an easier time taking him down. Oh yeah, the big daddies, if you didn't know, are the giant armored guys that protect the orphan girls who are called little sisters. So if you want to save or harvest a little sister, you first have to take down the big daddy, which is easier said than done. I've died countless times trying to take them out in the early stages of the game, just so I can help the little sisters. Yeah, in this playthrough, I've been doing the good route by helping the little sisters instead of harvesting their Adam, which in turn kills them. The one thing that this game has a lot of is hacking. There's so much hacking in this game to turn turrets and security cameras in your favor. You can also hack a room doors or even safes. The hacking procedure isn't that difficult and you can get skills to make it even easier, but it's just so tedious. I'm always trying to hack everything because it's so much better to have turrets guarding you than to destroy them. Same goes with the security cameras, but the amount of hacking you do in this game is just overkill if you ask me. Something I'm glad they actually got rid of in Bioshock Infinite. The graphics of Bioshock were always impressive, even in 2007. The first scene when you come out of the water after your plane crashes. I remember sitting there waiting for what I thought was a continuation of the cinematic. But then I moved my mouse and was shocked to find out that no, this was not a cinematic. This was already in game. And I was blown away by the water effects and just the overall graphics of the game in general. With the remastered version, they took an already stunning game and just improved on it in so many ways. The textures look clearer and just everything overall feels more high definition. Though the breaking of glass still looks funny if you ask me, but with water effects like this, who really cares? Overall, I'd say that Bioshock is a great game to come back to in 2022, and if you've never played it, you should definitely give it a try. It's truly a great game and with some super spooky moments. I can handle scary moments a lot better than I used to, and I do feel like the game gets less scary as you progress deeper into the game, but I'll never forget that first time 
time I entered Rapture. Always gives me the creeps. The story is great and will draw you in. I highly recommend anyone who hasn't played this yet to give it a go and if you haven't played it in a while, maybe you should come back and experience Rapture all over again. Or as Atlas would say, would you kindly? So there you have it, that's my first impression on Bioshock in 2022. Thank you for watching, I'm Sorisin. Have a fantastic day, feel free to follow me on all my socials, links are all in the description and pinned comment below.